You got Sergio Pettis ahead of you. He's also a veteran. He's also put in some time. This could be that type of springboard fight that can make a contender out of someone late in 2017 because it'll take this win, maybe one or two others, and then you get back into that title talk. Yeah, well, for me, it's about fighting for my life right now. You know, I'm coming off two losses, so you're going to see me fight for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, why do you say fighting for your life, though? You mean more, more fighting for your career, your job, or, or? Yeah, man, this is this is real to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I came from the streets. I'm, I'm, I did this to make a better living and, and, and provide for my kids. And, you know, I'm barely at the point where, where you know, I, I really feel like I could, you know, get get a win or a couple wins and actually start making some some money that acts that's uh you know you know show show myself that i made a career out of this so um you know yeah it's yeah man like there's nothing left for me I, i'm not uh if i get cut from the ufc you know i'm not there ain't nothing else really in fighting for me so i'm, I'm fighting for my life right here this is everything this is this is all in i'm all in on this one damn John, do you think um, if you did get cut, are you saying like you would retire, or or I, I, do you always feel like you'll get sucked back into street life? What, what are you telling us here? Uh, no, no. I mean, just as far as fighting, yeah, man. I don't know. This 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 thing is it's rough, man. I'm an old ass man already, or at least that's how I feel. You know, I'm coming down to some of my last years. The, the body's. You know, I've been through some years, man, some oh. training, so injuries just – it's just uh, – it's a rough game, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not really, you know, if I'm barely uh, – there ain't really any other opportunities on so I don't think anybody else is really paying the money that we that we should be getting paid to uh, to go through what we go through. So uh, I don't do this shit to be on posters. Or, excuse me, I don't do this to be on posters or, or interviews or, or, you know, fame, anything like that, man, just – let me provide for my family and that's it. But I don't really feel like the MMA business anywhere else is kind of, I don't know if it's, I don't know. I don't know what, what else there would be for me. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. so I'm going to make this happen. You're 32 years old, but I believe that a lot of this also comes from the fact that you've wrestled all your life. So the body just can only take so much. Is that what you're saying? And it's been, it's been not just you fighting in the UFC since 2012. I believe you made your debut <laughs> or even your original debut in MMA in 2009, you're just saying this is lifelong combat that's taking its toll? No, well, I mean, fighting in general, you know, I don't go to the gym and play patty cake. I, I go in there and fight. I train to fight. We fight to train, you know what I'm saying? So I'm. it's not like we just fight on fight night, you know what I'm saying? So this is, uh, you know, waking up feeling like you got hit by a truck, taking your kids to school and and just staying on it, grinding all the time and, you know what I'm saying? There's only so there's only uh so long somebody's gonna want to do that. Right. 